We'll continue now to work with the Dake Bible, which we have been working with for a while because it's such a thick and uh, tremendously informative type of Bible. We will go now to one of the unique sections at the end of this Bible, not the total end, but near the end. And this is um, something that one would normally call a concordance. In other words, all the words in the Bible and people in the Bible in alphabetical order with the scripture next to them so you can find out everywhere they're mentioned in the whole Bible. Well, this is not only a concordance, but he calls it a uh, cyclopedic index. Now, what that means is not only does it have the names of the people in the Bible and where they where you can find them, but it also has, in addition, things that you can do to find how many times that person is in the Bible, for example, and if there are notes on that person in those notes that we said we could find right beside the main text with those little letters that would show you where the notes were. If there are notes, those will be shown as well. So that's something in addition. Now, for example, if we look at Aaron in the Bible, in this Dake Bible, the first thing we will see about Aaron is that he is in the Bible. Um, 319 times. So it shows that's how many times Aaron is in the Bible. Now, Abraham is in the Bible, of course. And Aaron, Abraham is in the Bible 231 times. Okay, so in addition to that, and you've got all the scripture underneath it, you've got everything about Aaron, for example, uh, and you've also got those little symbols that we talked about before beside the names. But what's unique about this, as I said before, it if there are side references next to the actual parts of the Bible, it will do that. Now, let's take Aaron, and I'm going to take a look at that. By the way, here's what that looks like. You can't see too much because it's so small, but at least it gives you a little idea of what this actually looks like. Here we go. Do you see that? Now, what it does is this. If we're looking at Aaron, and we want to see if there's a note anywhere, here's what it does. It'll first of all have, right next to it, a little uh, number, and it'll say D. D is the number that you look for on the left. And then 110 means page, and then a little dash and a 1, which means on the first side. If there's a 2, it means it's on the second side. So that's how you find out where Aaron is in the notes. Now, we could look that up, but we won't have time to do that right now. Now, as far as Abraham goes, this is very interesting. The Old Testament is numbered from page 1 all the way to the end of the Old Testament, however it pages. But then the New Testament also starts with page 1. So you got to know where you're going. So here's what they do with Abraham, for example. They've got him, all the places he is in the Bible, plus some of the side notes. In addition, they have an asterisk right beside the last section. Say it's Abraham um, L., uh, page 225, 1, with an asterisk. That means that's in the New Testament, not the Old Testament. That is why that is there. So this lets you know which part of the Bible to go for with look of those keys that will show you exactly what's going on. This is something we are doing with this now. We will continue in a moment.